parents, guardians, families, and friends. Tonight, we celebrate the numerous and notable accomplishments of the young people who make up St. Maximilian Kolbe's Class of 2021. Tonight, we recognize their excellence in academics and their contributions to the school and community. This year's graduating class has touched our lives over the past few years, leaving a lasting legacy for the school. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lori Grondin, Vice Principal at St. Maximilian Colby, and I am your Master of Ceremonies this evening. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to St. Maximilian Colby Catholic High School's Class of 2021 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Tonight, our graduating students have made it to the end of their secondary school journey and will now embark on the next phase of their lives. It is an honor to be coming together virtually to recognize and pay tribute to this incredible milestone, joined by board dignitaries, staff, and the loved ones of our graduating class of 2021. At this time, I ask you to please stand and join graduating student Louisa Barbosa in the singing of O Canada. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see Over the past four years, the teaching staff, support staff, and administrative team at St. Maximilian Colby have made efforts to uphold your prayer lives, reminding you to place yourselves in the presence of God, our source of love, life, and hope. It is our sincere wish that you continue to believe in his goodness despite any challenges and difficulties. It is during these times of hardship that your faith will carry you and allow you to grow ever more grateful and wise. Chaplain Ms. McCloskey now leads us in our opening prayer and land acknowledgement. Let us gather in prayer as the class of 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you begin all things and bring them to conclusion. We praise you for our graduates. You have guided them to this proud moment. As we celebrate their graduation, we ask you to continue your gracious guidance in their lives. Open new doors and lead them to marvel at the wonders of creation and life. May your spirit help them to see their many gifts and teach them how to share these in your church and for the benefit of others. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We are gathered on the ancestral lands and waters of all Indigenous peoples who have left their footprints on Mother Earth before us. We respectfully acknowledge those who have walked on it, those who walk on it now, and future generations who have yet to walk upon it. We pray to the Creator for strength and wisdom that all may continue to serve as stewards of the Earth. Several dignitaries have contributed their greetings to the graduating class this evening. They are Ms. Elizabeth Crow, Catholic Trustee for Aurora, King, and Whitchurch Stouffville, Interim Director of Education Mary Batista, Mr. Eugene Pavato, Superintendent of Education School Leadership, Student Trustee Teresa Sibby, our School Principal Mr. Peter Parente, and representing Catholic School Council Ms. Rosa Rasso. 
Hello, and thank you to everyone for joining us today to celebrate this year's grade 12 graduates. My name is Elizabeth Crow, and I am your Catholic school trustee. This past school year was full of ups and downs, in-person classes and remote learning, which probably felt like a lot of back and forth. But looking back, we will see that we were always moving forward, moving forward with Jesus Christ at our side. As we read in Paul's letter to the Hebrews, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. We have faith and we have prayer, powerful forces that help us to keep moving forward, especially in times of uncertainty. The York Catholic District School Board is not simply an educational institution that happens to be Catholic. We are a Catholic institution that educates. We are blessed to be able to intertwine home, school, and church life to provide students the chance to develop socially and spiritually, as well as intellectually. So graduates, when your family made the decision to enroll you in a Catholic school, they did so with the intention of providing you with a holistic education. During the COVID-19 pandemic, these expectations became more important than ever. Without faith, it can be hard to hold on to the hope that things will get better. As discerning believers, we can nurture hope in ourselves and others and look forward to brighter days ahead. Graduates of 2021, you are the epitome of perse perseverance and resilience. You overcame obstacles, triumphed in your studies, adjusted to remote learning, and found new ways to communicate with your peers and teachers when challenged by a year of social distancing. Your hard work and trust in your own abilities and God-given talents has brought you to this major milestone, your high school graduation. Your dedicated teachers and school staff have helped you equip yourself with the knowledge and values you need to continue to excel in your journey. Now it is up to you to apply them in your everyday life so that you can succeed once again in whatever path you have chosen for yourself. As you prepare to embark on the next stage of your life, whether it be work, apprenticeship, college or university, now is the time for you to realize your high school dreams and cultivate your passions into a meaningful future. And remember, as you continue to grow and experience the world, your dreams may change and that is okay. For God said, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. No matter where you go or what you do, remember to strengthen your faith in him and know that he will always be there to guide you every step of the way. To the teachers, support staff, and administrators, I sincerely thank you for all of your outstanding efforts and work. Your dedication and commitment to the graduating class of 2021 will not be forgotten. You have made more of a difference in the lives of our students than you will ever know. To the proud parents, guardians, and family members of today's graduates, thank you for your patience and understanding this school year and for working with our board so that our, so that our graduates could reach today's milestone. Your support and encouragement throughout the years has pr provided the foundation for their success. Congratulations, parents. This is a milestone event for you too. F. Scott Fitzgerald said, it's never too late or too early to become the person you wanna be. As your future opens up before you, I encourage you to think back to the person you used to be, reflect on the person you are today and imagine the type of person you wanna be then make that happen. On behalf of the York Catholic District School Board, I wish each and every one of you success in the years ahead. Congratulations, graduates, and God bless each and every one of you. Greetings. It is an honor to join you today, and it is a privilege to congratulate you on your high school graduation. Although the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has altered our celebratory plans, today's graduation remains a tribute to the personal and academic growth you have experienced throughout your time at this wonderful school. Everybody here shares in your excitement and is proud of how far you have come and what you have accomplished.
to the parents and families of our graduates, as we honor the graduating class of 2020, we celebrate the enduring love, guidance and care that you have given your children throughout their elementary and secondary school years. You are to be congratulated for the support that you have provided. As our graduates embark on the next stage of their life, whether it be work, apprenticeships, college or university, they will continue to need your guidance and encouragement, but in a new way that reflects their growing understanding of the world. This is a time of change, not only for our graduates, but for families too. I have no doubt that the faith and love you celebrate together as a family will ease this transition. I would like to thank our school administrators for their dedication and leadership during the school year. I would also like to thank the many teachers, educational workers, support staff, custodians, and the entire school team for their many contributions to the success of our graduates. These are challenging times and we are truly grateful for all you have done to ensure the health and well-being of your students. Thank you for inspiring our students and supporting them on their educational journey. Graduates, this is your moment. The friendships forged, memories made, and lessons learned during your time far extend the classroom. You might not realize it yet, but this school has had a positive and profound impact on your life, and it is my hope that you will continue to make us all proud as alumni. As you bid farewell to high school, it is the perfect time to reflect on your many accomplishments while also anticipating the new challenges and exciting experiences that life will bring you in the future. May you continue to be, as your family, school, and parish have taught you, positive role models who reflect our Catholic graduate expectations as collaborative contributors and caring, responsible citizens. Your parents and I recognize the importance of publicly funded Catholic schools where students are encouraged to express their faith throughout their lessons and day-to-day -day school activities. May your future be rich with new experiences as you follow the guiding light of Christ. Know that God is always with you on your journey. Congratulations on graduating high school. I wish you much success in the years ahead. Thank you and God bless. Greetings to you all on behalf of the Senior Administration of the York Catholic District School Board. You've learned a great deal over the past four years. We are so proud of the gains you have made and thankful for all of your friends and family who share in your success. Your diplomas are a celebration of what you have learned, but they are even more so about what you are now called upon to do, which is to build the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. May your faith keep you strong, wise, and loving. Congratulations, graduates. God be with you. Hello, graduating class of 2021. Our four years of high school are finally over, and I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say that this past year and a half during a pandemic has helped us grow in both appreciation and resiliency. I know our senior year is not what we expected it to be, with a virtual graduation ceremony, nonetheless a virtual goodbye. But let us remember how far we have already come and the obstacles we have already overcome during these trying times. So from the bottom of my heart, I would like to extend a sincere congratulations to all graduates for the determination and dedication you have shown these past four years. As you enter into this next chapter of your life, I challenge you to use the valuable lessons you have learned at your Catholic to make the world a better place. Though we may not be the first class to graduate during a pandemic, let's hope we're the last class. That being said, let's remain hopeful for a future of restoration and renewal. And remember, your Catholic will always be your home. Thank you and God bless. Dear parents, guardians, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the class of 2021. We are here this evening to celebrate your amazing accomplishments, as well as the lasting legacy you have left on our school community. This evening is all about recognizing your dedication, perseverance, passion, and positive energy that allowed you to succeed in the most challenging of circumstances. 
Class of 2021, when you arrived at SMK in September of 2017, you were probably mesmerized by all there was to learn about high school. Do you remember the first friend you made? How about the first adult who helped you navigate a challenging situation? Do you remember the first obstacle you overcame? How about the first time you accomplished something that you didn't think you could? All of these instances helped you grow and mature and helped prepare you for successes and challenges that lay ahead. Class of 2021, you embodied our school motto, choice not chance determines destiny, throughout your four years at our school. So many of you made the choice to bring your passion and energy to your academics and led others by example in the classes you attended, by setting high goals for success and by increasing your knowledge and wisdom. You persevered as classes shifted from in-person to remote, then back again and back again throughout these last 16 months. So many of you made the choice to participate in extracurricular activities, demonstrating your talents in the gym, on the stage, on the field, in the community, and around the city and province. You showed the character, creativity, teamwork, and passion that characterizes our school as you participated in art exhibitions, robotics competitions, Model United Nations, tech skills competitions, school plays, and other events. Many of you led or started new clubs, even this year, as extracurriculars turned virtual. You cared for and showed support for others through a Google Meet and computer screen while juggling responsibilities and expectations from your parents and teachers. So many of you made the choice to stand up for social justice, to participate in food drives, to visit seniors' residences, to give of yourselves to lighten the burdens that others carry. You used your social media platforms to share positive energy and stand up for worthy causes, reflecting the goodness of our school community. In this way, you chose to live the words of our patron saint, St. Maximilian Kolbe, when he said, forget not love. In doing so, you demonstrated the love and discipleship that our Catholic faith requires of us. For the last 16 months of the global COVID-19 pandemic, you wore your masks, you kept socially and physically distant, avoided gathering in large groups, all for the greater good. All to keep you, your families, and those in our community safe and healthy. Many of you even worked in essential services, risking your health so others could get what they needed. And you did all of this while working to satisfy your graduation requirements and successful transition to your post-secondary pathway. Class of 2021, all of the faculty and staff at SMK are immensely proud of you. We, along with your parents and guardians and special guests, congratulate you on this momentous occasion. Moreover, we thank you for your hard work and dedication and for representing our school and community with such respect and dignity. Class of 2021, you are our future, and because of you, our future looks bright. We know the great things await you in the workplace, in college or university, and in your eventual careers and family life. As you navigate this complex world, I encourage you to stay grounded in your faith and to be thankful to all of your family members and friends who have supported you along the way. Class of 2021, you will always be a member of our Mustang family. Even though we didn't see each other in person as much as we had hoped for this year and last, you will always hold a special place in the hearts of our school administration, faculty, and staff. Stay in touch with us and tell us about all of your accomplishments in the coming years. We hope you'll take a piece of SMK with you wherever you go. God bless and God speed, Class of 2021. Go and be the light of the world that God calls you to be. Thank you. Congratulations, 2021 High School graduates of St. Maximilian Colby. Remember, choice, not chance, determines your destiny, and your choices these last four years have molded and guided you into the young adults you have become. 
We are proud of your accomplishments and achievements and wish you much success in your future endeavors. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. The SMK Parent Council. Thank you to all our special guests. We now begin the most important part of the evening, the recognition of our graduates. The conferral of diplomas is a time-honored tradition, and though the ceremony has been altered from its usual format, the tradition continues tonight as we acknowledge the academic achievements of our students virtually. Our graduating students will be presented in alphabetical order. Their academic accomplishments, including any subject-based awards recognizing the highest average in the course, certifications, and honor roll and Ontario scholar status will be listed in accompaniment to their photo.
Congratulations. All of the graduates should be very proud of their accomplishments. There are also a number of graduating students who have demonstrated an outstanding level of excellence in academics, school spirit, community building, and commitment to their faith. To recognize these individuals, our school and other partner organizations have established a number of school and community awards of excellence. These awards and their descriptions will now be presented together with each of the student recipients.
two students were nominated and elected by their peers to represent the graduating class in the valedictory address. The 2021 valedictorians are Louisa Barbosa and Annalise Kenkel. Everyone always says that high school flies by, but I think we can all agree that this year has felt longer than the past three combined. Whether it was the two and a half hour classes that most of us could barely stay awake for, or the quad mesters that had us writing tests every other day, saying this year has been challenging is an understatement, which makes it all the more rewarding to be representing the class of 2021. Good evening, honored guests, family, friends, trustees, teachers, staff, administration, and fellow graduates. I'm Luisa Barbosa. And I'm Annalise Kenkel. And we're your SMK class of 2021 valedictorians. After a year like this, it's very easy to focus on all that we've lost. But we encourage you to focus on the things that we've gained from our time at St. Maximilian Colby. We leave with new experiences, lifelong friendships, and a love for St. Max calf cookies. I think we can all agree that this year has taught us the importance of perseverance. Despite the extra heavy workload and having to explain to your teachers that yes, your Wi-Fi really did cut out, we were able to rise above the challenges thrown our way to make the most of our grade 12 year and our high school experience as a whole. We had our white pine trip where we all tipped each other's canoes and went swimming in sweatshirts. We had our athletic banquets and semi-formal where some of us quickly regretted our decision to wear those six inch stilettos and dress shirts quickly became soaked with sweat. We had our school concerts where we learned how important it is to make sure instruments are in tune before the concert starts. And who could forget our lip sync battle where we'd all scream at the top of our lungs to party in the USA. Looking back on our time at St. Max, we have a lot to be proud of. Many students represented us at DECA, HOSA, and 4343 Robotics. Students in the visual and performing arts amazed us with the senior art show, dance performances, and the play A Christmas Story. We strengthened our community and our faith through religion retreats and school-wide masses. Our sports teams have made us proud with various championships at the regional and provincial levels. We have had exceptional guidance and leadership from student council, athletic council, best buddies, mental health committee, and CLAW. We broke school records with our donations to the Terry Fox Foundation, Sick Kids, the Aurora Food Pantry, and many more. Time and time again, the class of 2021 has gone above and beyond to represent our school and give back to the community. And then everything came to an abrupt stop on March 13th, 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic changed our lives. All of a sudden, an extended March break turned into a nationwide lockdown. We tried to distract ourselves by watching Tiger King and drinking whipped iced coffee while we waited for the break to end. Well, this has officially been the longest March break in history. Although we've been physically apart, we've become more united than ever. All the FaceTime calls and group chats made lockdowns less lonely and certainly made the tests less lonely too. Mr. Parente, that was a joke. It was truly amazing to see how close we've all gotten over this past year although you wouldn't be able to tell from the awkward silence in the breakout rooms. Our events, clubs, teams, and online school are what we will remember when looking back at these past four years. But it's also important to remember the little things. In grade nine, we had the first victory of getting our lockers open and finding our period one classes on time. We got our first student ID cards, got our exercise in, whether it was from gym class or having to walk up the stairs to the third floor, and we inevitably got lost in the stairwell that leads to nowhere. In grade 10, we took civics and careers where the personality tests gave us career suggestions such as crossing guard and male model. We became more comfortable with the school and strengthened our friendships. We also took the OSSLT, which gave us some amazing memes. What even is a filbert? In grade 11, we hit the books hard and then slowly put those books away when we realized our marks couldn't drop after March. We then did the rest of the school year in our pajamas. This year, we persevered through the toughest post-secondary admission season in Ontario history and an extremely competitive job market. The success of our students under these circumstances is a testament to the strength and willpower of our SMK community. Our time in high school has given us a strong work ethic and the initiative to pursue our passions. We know how to take charge of our future because we know that choice, not chance, determines destiny. Did you really expect us to write a valedictorian speech and not use the school motto? 
We deserve a lot of credit for finishing high school under these circumstances, but we didn't do it alone. Thank you to our teachers, guidance counselors, educational assistants and interveners, secretaries, custodians, administrators, and other school staff. You have supported us and helped us grow from shy, awkward grade nines to the confident young adults we are today who are ready to enter the next chapter of our lives. To our family and friends, thank you for believing in us and being by our side through the highs and lows of our academic careers. Thank you for helping us study at 3 a.m. and consoling us when we got that grade back and realized that we shouldn't have left it until the last minute. We'd also like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you, our peers. The class of 2021 is an incredible group of students who exemplify kindness, intelligence, humor, and diligence. Thank you for making every day at St. Max truly unforgettable and enjoyable. While graduating from our computers may seem unfortunate, it is important to remember that graduating with our safety and our health is the greatest gift we can ask for. We extend our hearts, our thoughts, and our prayers to those who have lost their jobs, their loved ones, and especially their lives to COVID-19. We pray for healing and peace to those affected by the pandemic. This past year has taught us the importance of family, friends, and community. After losing so much, you learn to appreciate what you have. God gave us all unique gifts and skill sets. Take advantage of them and share them with the world. Graduating in this, in this year, this crazy, unpredictable year, has presented us with a unique opportunity. As COVID cases lower and in-person events return, we will soon have the option to return to normal. Now, we can take this option or we can build a new normal. We can build a world where we remember to check up on friends and family who live alone. A world where we take time for our passions and hobbies and remember to give ourselves a break every once in a while. A world where we rework our school and job environments and adapt to change when needed. A world where we speak up against injustice and inequality. And most importantly, a world where we cherish every moment we have because we understand now more than ever that life is precious. Graduates, this pandemic has changed the world. Now we have the opportunity to go out and do the same. We'd like to close with some words from our patron saint, St. Maximilian Kolbe. The Immaculate will conquer through us, the whole world, and every single soul. These words ring true in the fact that we persevered and conquered every obstacle in our path. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It has been an honor to be a part of this class and to represent you all tonight. Thank you, Louisa and Annalise. I now invite the graduates and their loved ones to participate in one final prayer together. Please join Chaplain Ms. Froyo as she leads us in our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, we ask that you help our children to walk in your wisdom and grace. We pray for spiritual eyes and discernment in all things. Help them to be wise leaders and influencers in this generation, not conformed to the world, but transformed by your power. We ask that you would equip them with all that they need to make a difference for your purposes. Help them to live as salt and light in the world that so desperately needs to know your truth. We ask for your power to help them to walk continually in honesty and integrity. Build within them deep godliness that they would be more concerned about their character than their reputation. We pray that they would seek to bring honor to you throughout their lives, that they would have a vision and heart for the world, extend their boundaries and give them incredible influence with people and nations. Make their hearts and spirits open to every plan and purpose you have for them and to be willing to boldly go wherever you call. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As we conclude, I would like us to recognize the people who worked to make this year's celebration possible. Thank you to the graduation committee comprised of Ms. Gurlovich, Ms. Hartfield, Ms. Karahalios, Ms. Manning, Ms. Schiavo, Ms. Schiaffone, and Ms. Van Lonen, the custodial staff and the office staff. A special thank you to Ms. Moralia and her students and support staff team for their preparation of the graduate folders and envelopes. I would like to acknowledge our amazing St. Maximilian Colby teachers and support staff who are online with us this evening and who have worked with these students over the years. 
And of course, a big thank you to the parents, guardians, and family members who supported these graduates along the way. Thank you to everyone for coming together tonight and a final congratulations to the St. Maximilian Colby 2021 graduating class. On behalf of the staff of St. Maximilian Colby, I offer my congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2021.